Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video to teach you guys how to conceal your pores or at least make them look smaller and a lot less obvious when you have makeup on. The best way is to go in with a pore primer. Um, I have a few to recommend. One of it is the Benefit Professional. I think that one is quite a holy grail for a lot of people with large pores. It contains silicone that helps to fill up the pores before you apply your makeup. So you guys can imagine there are pores which are like kind of holes in your skin and then you fill it up, lay the canvas and make sure it's flat first before you apply your foundation. So that is is what silicone primers do. There are people that avoid silicone primers because um, they are said to clog pores. Personally for me, I don't really have this problem because I make sure to remove them thoroughly and I go in with a cleansing device every single day to make sure that I get rid of all of the dirt and gunk within my pores. But for those of you who have clogged pore problems, I can see why you guys would want to stay away from silicone primers. So here are some other tips that I have. Firstly, when it comes to your skincare, I would suggest applying things that are not too oily. Everything matters all the way from your skincare to your makeup, like how you prep your skin and how it will look like afterwards. So if you use oils, especially in the day, before you apply your makeup, sometimes it can highlight the texture of your skin and that's not what we want. Try to use things that are more lightweight like gels um, instead of rich creams or you can always finish up with a mattifying kind of moisturizer or a sunscreen. So this one is one of my holy grails, you guys know it's from Santik. It's the Ampio Sika sunscreen and it has a matte finish because it's a physical sunscreen so it kind of has a tone up effect. So you can see it instantly mattified my skin a little bit and it's now a little bit more velvety to the touch. There are other sunscreens out there that I would recommend. One is the PREM, I think it's called PREM. I'm not sure if they're in Guardian. Maybe you can go and check them out, but I got it from Olive Young. Basically something that kind of mattifies it. If not, you can always set your face with powder first before you go in with foundation. So for foundation, if you would like to go in with a foundation, I would recommend choosing one that isn't too liquidy, that doesn't have too much oils in it or too much viscosity in it. You want to find something that is more jelly, uh, that's something that is more pasty. So today I have the Burberry Matte Glow Foundation. This is a really good full coverage foundation. Even after pumping it out, it's not actually sliding down. This is how jelly-like it is. Use either a foundation flat brush or you know this kind of stippling brush at an angle or this one from Hera is also really good because it's completely flat and it's very dense. Load it up on my brush and then I will start by applying it just a layer like this. So you wanna just glide it across the skin. For me, I like to try to like press it in, like stipple it in so that it kind of gets into the pores as well. And then what you want to do is take a dry sponge, just dab it in. Then I'll go in again with a second layer on areas that actually need a bit more coverage. And I'm just gonna pat it in like this using the sponge. Can you see the difference? Next up, we have concealer. I have here a stick concealer. This one is from Claire de Peau. It's the Corrector Visage Concealer. It's a really good balance between the amount of waxiness and also how long lasting it is. So it does not actually make it look even more cakey. Other concealers that I would recommend that has a thicker consistency, not your clicky pen types. Try to use um, something like a Tarte Shape Tape or a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Those work as well. But if you have a stick concealer, um, I would highly recommend that. Now I'm just going to conceal and just pat it in. Typically for the poreless kind of makeup, um, we have to go a little bit heavier and thicker. So if you're looking for something that is more natural, then maybe this might not be for you. So you can see the difference now. Of course it's much fairer but I usually use a lot of contour and bronzer so that would fix it later on and I'm just leaving it half 
face so that you guys can see the difference. Powder is very crucial and I would usually opt for a compact powder over a loose powder so you don't actually overuse and you don't underuse as well. This one is the Decote Compact Powder which I really love. It is not too matte and no matter how much you put, it still wouldn't get extremely cakey which is amazing. What I'm doing is just pressing it on areas that needs to be set. Okay, then the rest, I'll just apply it on the rest of the face. So I'll leave it here for a bit. In the meantime, I can work on the rest of my face and then I'll come back to dust it off. Okay, now it's time to dust off the excess powder. So you guys can see the difference. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in further to the skin. Alright, now I'm just gonna put some contour and highlight on the side of my face to show you guys how to make it less flat because when you do everything so matte, it does look a little bit more flat. So I'm just taking my Fenty Beauty highlighter. You guys know how much I love this. Then I'm just lightly taking the highlighter to highlight. If you have a lot of pores on this area, try to avoid highlighting this area. Try to highlight only like the high points of the cheeks further outwards, like here, so that um, your pores don't get accentuated. So instantly, you brought the glow back to your face. It still feels matte, but it doesn't look as matte, especially on camera now. Contour, my V-shading from Peripera. I'm also taking my Fenty Match Sticks in Mocha and I'm just um, gonna use it to contour my nose a little bit. So this product works really well with a matte base. It does not contain any glitter inside and because it is very pigmented and very matte, um, it does create a really strong kind of contour. So I just put on some falsies and what I'm gonna do now is use eyeliner and mascara to kind of blend it all in together. For eyeliner, I'm using the Cleo Kill Brown. I've got my eyes done and I'm gonna do the other side of my face and I'll be back and now both sides are done I'm just gonna apply my blush this is Clinique's uh, Melon Pop and you're just gonna see how the blush glides on really nice and smoothly and you don't see any of your pores accentuated of course you wanna just dab it very lightly you don't want to push too hard if not all of your foundation underneath is just gonna shift and that's also when you will start to see um, the texture come out again. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Talk to me in the comments box down below and I would love to see you in my next one.